Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond from Champion Wizard. In this episode, I'd like to show you um, the new flexible section. Yes, the flexible section. The idea is that actually we can put as much web parts we want and we can play around with it. And it can look very cool. So let's see how we do it. We'll go to new, we will choose a page. Let's choose a blank page. And actually, what we will do is to create the new section. We will click here on the plus. And here we see this is the flexible section. In addition to the one column, two column, three column, and one third to the left and to the right, and vertical section. So let's add it. So the first thing that you will notice is actually that if you scroll to the right, you can change the, the size of the section. Yeah, if it's tall or not that tall. So this is one flexibility. Now what we can do is actually we can, for instance, add a background. So we can choose from these backgrounds or we can uh, add let's say a background that we have from the web so let's choose a web and we will choose this background um, now what we can do is actually to add many web parts so um, we don't have the possibility to add the web parts as we would do um, in different uh, sections but we can add it from the right toolbox. So in addition, I could choose some text and you can see I can start typing and then I can move it and put it wherever I want. So let's say, let's say I'll call this SharePoint site, SharePoint wizard site, wizard site. And if I want, I can adjust the the font size and if I want notice that I can um, choose if to bring the, the web part to bring it to front or send it to back bring it forward or send it forward if I want to group it or ungroup I can also do that so this also I can also move wherever I want it was not possible until now so I added some text maybe I want it even larger so let's type here 150 now maybe it's too big but let's make it this and now it's starting to look uh, nice so we added the background we added a, a text web part now we can add for instance an image so i can choose another image and let's choose uh, wizards or we can choose in web some some widths and you know what let's just take this guy he looks cool and uh, once he's added i can say hey hey funny guy i can now take you and put you wherever i want i can also resize the image make it large or big I can even um, add some text overlay. Hello, you. And I can maybe adjust it to a circle. So it looks, and this I can maybe duplicate and add it uh, somewhere else. Or I can do anything I want. Uh, if I go here, I can actually Let's go to the settings. So I can add a link and do lots of things. Um, now, the nice thing here is here, I'll show you an example here. Here I took um, a background image. I added some text. This is another text work part. And here I added the image. Now, in addition to what, if you're not that creative, then you actually can, um, take some templates that exist 
that they uh, offer you. So I'm going to go and let's say maybe create a new section, flexible. And this time, I want to be inspired. So what you see here is some section template. So if I apply this, you will see actually that it gives me ideas. So if I see this, this is a text web part. So is this. These are images. And everything is adjustable, and you can move. And it's just like, yeah, just like almost a website. Um, if we look at an additional uh, section template, we see here something very, very nice. So as you see, this is probably the image. And here we have some text. And this is also a text. And we have some images. And of course, we can move them around. Um, what we can do is also, if we want to um, crop it or adjust or add some filters, everything is possible here. Um, so this is the second template we have. And I'm sure there will be many others. Let's look at this template with the welcome. So you see, actually, that we have we have a text web part. Also, this is a text. These are images and some more text. And let's go back to the next template. This one looks not bad at all. 